Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we will learn how to access the public test branch of Valheim. There's actually two versions of Valheim, the regular base game and then the public test branch. So when they launch a big patch or something that they want to test properly, before it becomes the main game, they add it to the public test branch. And anybody can use the public test branch, you just need to know that it exists and know how to access it. I will give you one disclaimer. You shouldn't access any of your existing characters or existing worlds because you'll basically corrupt them until the update comes out. And you don't want that. <laughs> you want to make sure that you use new worlds and new characters when you play on the public test branch. This is really important. You can use your existing characters, but only if you copy and back them up. Because if you don't back them up, then when you use them on the PTR, it's going to change them and they won't work anymore on the regular version of Valheim. So that's why it's really important to either use new characters and new worlds or make copies of your characters and worlds so that everything's fine. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can access the PTR and it, or sorry, I'm so used to WoW PTR. <laughs> there's a couple different ways that you can access the public test branch. It depends on the way that you play Valheim. I'm going to show you first how to do it in Steam. Go to your games and then your games library. And from here, find Valheim, right click and go to properties. From there, go to betas. And then you need to enter a password basically. Yes, I made backups. Easy to remember. And then check code. And this is going to allow you to go up here and then set it to public test branch, latest version of the public test branch of Valheim. And then once you've changed those settings, you can just launch Valheim normally and it's gonna be the public test version of the game. So it's not like you install a separate client or something, you just change that setting and then boom, you have this version of it. Now, if I were to go, for example, these are other characters. So you see how all this stuff, if I start this, or if I, at the moment I log in to one of these characters and save some variables, I mess everything up. So do not use this unless you copy stuff or you're making entirely new worlds, okay? Like test world. Boom, got my, let's use my favorite seed. <laughs> yeah. And now we could use this test world and we can use all of the world modifiers from Hilder's Request. So we can see obviously this is the Hilder's Request version, which isn't out yet. So it's working. But remember if we use one of these characters or join an existing world, we're going to mess it up. So don't do that, okay? It's really, really important. I just showed you how to access the public test branch on Steam, but if you're not on Steam, you'll need to follow some different steps. I'll just read you what the website says. To access with Microsoft PC Game Pass, launch the Xbox Insider app, navigate to Previews, and then find Valheim Public Test. Select Join. Wait for the registration to be complete, to be directed to the store, and then install Valheim Public Test. Ah, so maybe it's a different version in Xbox. I don't really know. I'm sorry. <laughs> For most of you, uh, using the public test branch isn't something that's really that necessary. But it's good to know that it exists, and there's certain situations where it's really, really useful. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way to play with your friends, and I'm actually going to be hosting a... Valheim server once Hilda's request comes out. So if you want to check that out, then keep in touch, subscribe, comment below, let me know. I have a feeling that it'll probably come out in August. 